Okay, moments. Moments are turning forces. That's all they are. They're forces around a pivot. A pivot is something uh, that something else can turn around. That's all. Um, so in this case, it's a seesaw. Look. Seesaw, 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 seesaw. The whole seesaw, the whole uh, plank is pivoting around the pivot. So if I pull it down, it goes back again. Not rocket science yet. Okay, if I plonk a weight, some kind of force on the seesaw, in this case a fire extinguisher, ka-ching! Um, the force of the fire extinguisher turns the seesaw. Now, it, it's important to understand that what's happening to the seesaw is it's pivoting around the pivot. See? Uh, turning around the pivot. If I want to turn it the other way, I have to apply a force. Now, as you have worked out, the amount of force I have to apply to overcome the force of the fire extinguisher depends on where I apply the force. If I take the end of the seesaw, imagine you've got a particularly fat friend there. I'm sure you've got one of those. A particularly fat friend is uh, shaped a bit like a fire extinguisher at the end of a seesaw and you've got to pull him or her or it up into the air. Well, think of it as a sort of recalcitrant fat child that you're occupying for the afternoon in the park. Now, if you want to, um, to get this child in the air, if you grasp the end, uh, the other end of the seesaw and pull down, go <coughs> assuming the seesaw doesn't break, um, you've applied a force and you've applied a moment in the opposite direction. So the fat child fire extinguisher is applying a moment in this direction. Um, that moment is in the clockwise direction. You are clockwise because it's if you start at 12 here, it's going one, two, three, four, five, nine, 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 the clockwise moment in anyway if you want to move the fat child up into the air oh hang on there we are um, and you catch hold of the seesaw about there it's a lot harder ah, that's me straining because it's a lot more difficult I have to apply a lot more force if I'm close to the pivot if I'm next to the pivot here it's almost impossible Try opening your front door by pressing right next to the hinge, right next to the pivot. You have to apply an awful lot more force. Over here, really easy, fat child in air. I'm going to see if I can catapult the fire extinguisher. Oh, no. It appears the simulation doesn't run like that. Anyway, um, I can apply a clockwise moment, sorry, an anti-clockwise moment to completely counteract the clockwise moment by putting a similarly shaped fire extinguisher type fat child on the other side of the seesaw. Doing. Okay, the seesaw now returns to a level situation. There we are, arrows, level, level. Mm. Uh, because the forces are equal, not only are they equal and acting in opposite directions, but that also at the same distance. Right, if I move this right hand moment, oh look, if I put the child back here, not as much clockwise moment. Why is that? Because the anti-clockwise moment is at one, two, oh, hang on, put rulers on here, there we go, there you go. The anti-clockwise moment is at two meters. And the clockwise moment is at 1.5 meters. So if I move this to 1.5 uh, meters, we have the same moment on each side. We have the same moment. This one 
a clockwise moment trying to turn it this way this one an anti-clockwise moment trying to turn it this way seesaw is level move this one in not level so far not rocket science okay a moment then simply let's just turn this off because it's confusing a moment then simply is a turning force around a pivot and it has two components it has a force in this case it's just giving it a, a mass a mass of five kilograms which of course you will know um, is a force of 50 newtons if you don't know ask me why okay uh, it's because five kilograms in earth's gravity which is is what that's right 10 gravities uh, one gravity is 10 um, uh, 10 newton meters sorry 10 newtons per minute 10 10, <laughs> 10 newtons per kilogram we have five kilograms here so therefore um, 5 times 10 is 50 newtons. The force of this um, fat fire extinguisher child is 10 newtons. Uh, sorry, it's 50 newtons. And it's 50 newtons in that direction. And this 50 newtons is acting at 1.5 meters. So the moment is 50 multiplied by 1.5, which I think you'll find is 75. 75 newton meters. That's the unit of um, uh, moments, newton meters, newtons times meters. As long as we've got the same 50 newtons multiplied by 1.5 meters um, on this side, we've got a balanced seesaw. We have the same turning force around the pivot in both directions. Now, uh, the, all that they try and do with this is ask you interesting questions like, um, okay, if I put two fat children on this side, one at 1.5, one at 2, um, where do I put the ultra-fat dustbin-shaped human? Um, do you want to work that out? No, let's do it by trial and error then. Okay. We've got 10 kilograms, which in Earth's gravity is how many newtons? Remember, Earth's gravity? 10. 10 times 10. That's right. 100. 100 newtons. So we've got 100 newtons at 1.25 there. It's clearly not enough, is it? Because the clockwise moments, the ones turning it um, this way, uh, are more than the anti-clockwise moments, the ones turning it this way. So I have to either increase the force by picking it up and f there we go or I move the force further out so if I move the force to here I get wait for the levels guys Ching. we just check that mathematically how many newtons that's right a hundred yes well done uh, it's 100 newtons uh, times by 1.75, so 1.75 times 100 is, sorry, yes, 175. So we've got 175 newton meters turning it anti-clockwise, which means because it's level, the sum total of each of the two moments on here has to add up to 175. So let's work it out. 5 kilograms is how many newtons? That's right, 50. So 50 times 2 is 100. So I'm willing to bet that this should add up to 75 to balance that. So we got 5 ti sorry, 50 times 1.5. 50 times 1.5 is 75. So in total, the clockwise moments, 175. And here, the, in total, the anti-clockwise moments, 175. Um, let's turn the level off. Uh, does that make sense? Don't know how else to say it um, other than to put all of the things on this side and see if it breaks. Uh, Alas, it doesn't. Okay, um, 
if you're still confused, ask me, and um, we'll do something else. Bye-bye. Um, how do you turn this off now? Hello? Hello, want to turn off? Oh dear, won't turn off. It's rather embarrassing. I just have to keep talking. <laughs> hmm. Um, seriously. Seriously, guys. Ooh! What's happening? Ooh! What's happening? Oh, hang on, it's a little button here.